Hey folks, I'm sure you all know the old joke about the two guys walking in the bush when they look up and they see a lion charging at them. And the one guy drops to the ground and he starts putting on his running shoes. The other guy looks at him and goes, hey dude, why are you putting on your running shoes? You can't outrun a lion. The other guy looks up to him and says, bud, I don't need to outrun the lion. I just need to outrun you. Now, that's pretty much the situation with the new BE codes in our country at the moment. The reality is whether you agree with it, don't agree with it, whether you think it's fair or not fair, regardless of where you are with that, the reality is it's been implemented and it's going ahead. We can all argue about it later. We can all worry about what we're going to do about it at a later stage. That doesn't matter. Right now, what needs to happen is we need to become BE compliant so that we can continue doing business in this country. If you are not BE compliant, you are going to struggle to do business in this country very soon. The new codes are making it really, really tough to do business if you are not compliant. The good news is it's not that difficult to become compliant. Well, for most companies, there are some companies that are going to have a problem getting it done and there are some companies that will be affected a lot more than others. But, for instance, if you do less than 10 million a year turnover, you are automatically a level 4 BE. All you need to do is do an affidavit based on a template that we've got on our site and take it and get it stamped. And there you go, you're level 4 BEE and you don't even have to worry about it anymore. So there are ways to become compliant or there are ways to become more compliant. And the more compliant you are, the better you will do. It's like putting on your running shoes. So the reason I put this site together is because I've just gone through a compliancy myself. And the thing is, the information is a little bit iffy and a little bit sketchy and there's so many different uh, avenues that information comes through and different interpretations of the laws and different interpretations of the rules that for a normal oak it's a bit tough to, to figure out what you need to do to become compliant. So I thought what I'd do is I'd make it simple. I'm going to go with the basics. I will help you, I'll give you advice, I will see where we can assist you, I will give you tools that will make it easier for you to become compliant, or let's just put it this way, to become more compliant. More compliant than your competitor, because that's what you need to do it right now. Be more compliant than your competitor. So, press the button next to this video, subscribe to this uh, site, Put your email address in. It's going to take you to a little uh, assessment form where you're just going to fill in your email address and your company sector or what industry sector you operate in. And from there, we are going to start giving you the information that's relevant to your industry and that will help you to become more BE compliant. Okay, so are you going to be the oak with the running shoes or the oak without the running shoes? Make that decision.